What's up guys and welcome back to the John and Q channel. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the 2011 Staccato P handgun. Hey, before we further get into the video, if you've been liking my videos and YouTube shorts, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. It does help out the channel and me out quite a bit. So thank you for your support. Thanks for watching and let's get back to the video. Here is the 2011 Staccato P. So, give you a gray case. You open up the case and you're greeted with two 17 round magazines and an actual lock. These are, I believe, Gen 3 magazines. Bottom of the magazines, you get the Texas Star. And so you flip this flap. That is the Staccato P. Here it is. Okay, so first impressions, just picking up the Staccato P, holding it for the very first time. It's, it's a beefy gun. It is quite, I mean, this is what I imagine John Wick feels like, real badass, but man, this is quite the gun. This is a big boy right here. Oh man, right off the bat what I'm noticing because it's a full size double stack 2011, I'm actually having a little bit of a difficult time getting my thumb to the slide lock. Well, magazine release, but slide lock. Like as you can see right here, and I'll show you. I kind of, I have to bring my entire palm over to the left side of the actual staccato. I'm used to my thumb resting here and the slide lock being here and I can just actuate it. But I got to bring it up a little bit more, actuate it and go back into, into my form. So that's gonna get some getting used to, but nothing we can't really fix with some training, going to the range and just doing some repetitions. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let's see what that trigger feels like. Okay, here we go. Okay. Whoa, there's like almost virtually no take up, virtually no wall to that. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. I'm having a difficult time trying to find that wall. I'm used to Glocks and there's a very distinct wall and take up with the triggers, but this is a four, four and a half pound trigger. And man, as you can see, It's, it's almost instantaneously that trigger reset and trigger pull. So I'll have to get some getting used to that. To me, that's not a deterrent. It actually probably makes you shoot a little bit faster. And so you'll have to just mitigate your recoil that much more and be more mindful of how you're shooting. And obviously with the staccato, it's a hammer fired gun. So here's the hammer, bring it back once and twice. You're good to go. I also do like that there's an ambi uh, safety on both sides of this pistol. So I can go from my left or from the right and I can uh, engage that safety switch whenever I please, which is cool. It did come with a 20 round magazine. Obviously I'm gonna keep the 20 rounder in here at all times because it looks so BA and there's just, I, you cannot do that, right? So here's my Surefire X300 Ultra. Let's see how it fits on my actual staccato. It fits snug. Look at that thing. That thing is a beast. <laughs> That's looking real gnarly. The sights on this pistol is a Dawson Precision Fiber Optic Front and a Staccato 2011 TA2 Rear Sight. The Staccato P is chambered in nine millimeter and has a 4.4 inch bowl of barrel. There's also rear and front serrations. It's great for those of you guys who like to love to press check every single time you put a round in the chamber. It's great for you guys. I'm guilty of it too. I'll be going out to the range soon. I'll be filming me shooting this Staccato P, how it handles recoil, how fast the trigger is, the slide, how it feels when I do shoot, all of the above. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and first look and my first take on the Staccato P. So thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace. That feels so good.